us a hope. So, how passionate are we? How zealous are we? How enthusiastic are we in the work that we do? I remember when I was in Cebu, I would wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning because our house was 11 kilometers away from the office. Now, from where we stay to the office, by the time it's 6.30 in the morning, traffic is already very heavy. You arrive in the office at 9 o'clock. So we wake up at 4, and then we prepare the breakfast, we prepare the food, and at 5.30, I take a jeepney, we call it jeepney in our country, take a jeepney, go to the office. By 6 o'clock, I'm already in the office. Office starts at 7.30, <laughs> and I am one hour and a half ahead of time. If I leave house at 6.15, I will be late because of the heavy traffic. And that went on for about four years. You see, until they called me out and brought me to to northern North Philippines to serve uh, in the present work that I am I am doing. You see, if we have the passion and we have the depth of the love that we have to serve our church, we will not count the hours that we work for for our church. We will not count the efforts that we are doing for our church. If you look at our teachers, they serve even at Sabbath school. They serve even at divine worship service. We ask some of our teachers to preach in church at divine worship time. We ask our teachers to be leaders at the AY, to teach in the children's division. You do it without pay. Why? Because you love the world. Because you love the church. Because you love the next generation of the church right. that will comprise the next church after our time. Yeah. You see, it is dedication. It is commitment to our work. That's why we are doing this. Can you find a better work outside? Of course. Yes. Of course. You have your master's degree. You can go to the university outside. Yeah. You get twice the pay that you receive here. But you do not do it. You prefer to work here. Why? Because we love our church. Because we love our young people. If all of our teachers would have that kind of passion and would have that kind of enthusiasm in serving our church, the work of the Lord will be finished soon. You see? Because we're not very many yet. How many are we? In Indonesia, how many are we? We are only 200,000 in Indonesia. Yeah. How many Indonesians all in all? 225 million. You see, there are 225 million Indonesians, there are 200,000 Seventh-day Adventists. How many are you in comparison to the Muslims in Indonesia? You are only 0.08%. You're zero point, you round that up, 0 0.09. Because that is 0 0.08888. So round that up to 0 0.09. You are even less than 1%. If we are not enthusiastic in our work, we will not finish it. See? We need to have the passion. We need to have teachers who do not count hours, who do not count the labors that they are investing into the work. We just work. We just work because we love the work, because we love the children, because we love our church. I hope that this will be a message that will stay with you for many years to come. Because I may not come every year. Yeah. <laughs> maybe next time I come, maybe before I retire. I do not know. <laughs> but uh, we will continue to serve, whether I am here or not, whether Sir Parolian is here or not. We continue to serve. We continue to serve our young people. We continue to train them. When we meet in heaven, then let's tell our stories there at the foot of the tree of life. And let's, let's tell our stories of the young people that we have, we have trained and the many church leaders that became church leaders because of the training that we gave them while they were still in high school. May God bless you today and in the years to come.